Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. If you're looking for tasty treats that remind you of days gone by, Yum Yum Better Ice Cream in Greensboro's got homemade ice cream and old-fashioned hot dogs that'll do the trick. Come see why sometimes doing things the old-fashioned way is so doggone good. Let's get a little bit of Oreo on top. For more than a century, no one has catered to sweet tooths in the state quite like the family-owned Yum Yum Better Ice Cream Company. Located in the center of UNC Greensboro campus, Yum Yum is a favorite hangout for students and locals of the area. I think the best thing about having the college kids come in is that we hook them for life when they go to school, then they just automatically come back year after year and they just have so many good memories. It just has such a reputation that's uh, been going for, for so many years. Uh, and it's such a popular place to come and have a, have a hot dog and have a quick bite to eat. While you can get your hot dog with the basic ingredients, try getting a dog all the way with chili, slaw, onions, and mustard, and you won't be disappointed with the outcome. We make our, all our slaw and uh, make our chili. If you make it homemade, it's always a little special. For many people, the idea of hot dogs and ice cream is a fantastic combination. And when you add old-fashioned service to the mix, one server, one patron, you take a bite out of their food and it floods you with priceless childhood memories that makes you understand why their name couldn't be more appropriate. We work very hard at um, making a good product uh, and, and service. Um, but we do it the old-fashioned way. But what most people don't know is that the process to recreate those nostalgic good old days takes place entirely in their restaurant. Instead of buying their ice cream, Yum Yum makes all their delicious flavors on site and homemade, starting from basic ingredients of milk powder, sugar, cream, and water. It holds 300 gallons, and we go ahead and, you know, we go ahead and do a full batch at one time. In the end, I feel like we make about 70 flavors but we only have about 18 at any given point. What are the seasonal flavors that you have? I will always make eggnog and peppermint in November, and this year we're gonna make pumpkin for the first time, and we'll have that ready for Halloween. After learning how they make their ice cream, I was dying to taste a few flavors of their yummy treats before making my ultimate decision. Butter pecan. Ooh, that is Awesome. Okay, let's try lemon now. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna have a sugar rush by the end of this. <laughs> the core of Yum Yum's success lies in their ability to serve great food at an affordable price. I used to sell cones when they were 10 cent and 15 cent, and hot dogs were 17 cents. You ever try to art, uh, add up 17 cents and a, and a hot, for a hot dog? It, it's really tough on the head. It all started with Wisdom Idolette in 1906 when he started the business out of a push cart, believing that homemade ice cream, red hot dogs with steamed buns, and glass bottled cheer wine was something everybody could enjoy. It used to be open seven days a week. That's tough. That's tough. And my father would sometimes sell 5,000 cones on a Sunday. Despite being closed on Sundays, <laughs> Yum Yum continues to make a lot of ice cream. I asked Ruthie McLeod, a native of Greensboro who has been coming to Yum Yum's for 44 years, why she keeps coming back. They have a simple menu and um, it's not expensive. You always know what you're going to get and it's always good. The secret to Yum Yum's success is simple. Make enough money to survive. Now that's all my granddaddy wanted. That's all my father wanted. Um, we had talked about expanding. Um, my grandfather said, you know, keep it simple, stupid. You'll do better. For North Carolina Weekend, this is Mandy Brannon. Yum Yum Better Ice Cream is at 1219 Spring Garden Street in Greensboro, and they're open Monday through Saturday starting at 10 a.m. For more information, you can call them at 336-272-8284.
Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.